Alrighty then, instead of zucchini bread, I'm gonna make squash bread with two of my last surviving squash that did extremely well. I have plenty put up in the freezer. So I took my squash, and of course it was very clean on the outside. I cut it in half, I scooped out the seeds, and I ended up with a little over two cups. Now these are my dry ingredients. Two cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons baking powder, one half teaspoon baking soda. I'm using a teaspoon of kosher salt or a coarser salt. If you're using, you know, table salt, you'll just want a half teaspoon of that. One and a third cups of brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. And then to these ingredients, I'm going to put in my uh, shredded squash. Also, my wet ingredients are as easy. It is two eggs, a half cup of oil, a half cup of milk, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, and I'm using my own home vanilla, which is very flavorful. This could not be easier. So let's go ahead and break up our brown sugar and get this mixed together. Super easy, and I've already lined basically a bread pan with some parchment paper for easier cleanup. Plus the oven's only gonna be on 350. So the parchment paper does, is not in any danger. Now we unceremoniously slap in our squash. I'm gonna mix this. So it's all coated. Let's get in our wet ingredients. And let's incorporate that to our squash bread or zucchini bread. In my case, it is squash. Alrighty, so it is well moistened throughout everything. And if you see little black specks, that is the molasses from my homemade brown sugar. And I'm gonna pour it in my pan. So here is my little bread pan with some parchment. I trim off a lot of the excess parchment paper. And then I'm gonna just judge this around. Hold a lot using my pokey joe when I can. And see if we can get any air bubbles out of this. All right, so it's gonna go in a 350 oven. And it's usually 45 to 50 minutes or until a toothpick uh, inserted in the middle comes out clean. Yummy little treat from our own garden. And when I say my own vanilla, I'm talking about Madagascar vanilla beans and keeping some always going in my pantry. Much cheaper than the little teeny tiny vanilla extracts we get. Plus, I save those little bottles so I can pour mine into those and just it's easier to measure out of. It took 55 minutes. Now I'm gonna let it sit out for about 10 minutes in this bread pan and then I'll remove it and put it on a cooling rack. 